This is the Eventide Instant Flanger Mark II plug-in, a faithful recreation of the 1970s rack mount classic that can be heard on countless hit records. But did you know it was also used for other applications? Let's recap what flanging is and then how people use the Instant Flanger in unintended ways. The plug-in flanger in your DAW is copying a studio technique known as tape flanging. By using two tape machines separated by several feet, engineers could vary the delay by pressing a thumb on the tape reel. Eventide was one of the first professional audio companies to create purpose-built hardware boxes designed to emulate tape flanging and phasing effects. The instant flanger used a device called the Bucket Brigade Delay, which was a long series of switches and capacitors. The analog signal passed along until it appeared at the output. This worked great for short delays needed for flanging, and with the modulation turned off, the delay of several milliseconds could be added to the input for a doubling effect. The instant flanger used a trick where, in addition to the Bucket Brigade Delay chips, they added a series of fixed analog all-pass filters like the circuits found in the instant phaser. They were designed to decorrelate the flanger's outputs with the added benefit of delay, and the result was an automatic double tracking. You see, before these boxes were available, double tracking was best achieved by the singer singing the part twice. This works well, but since humans are imprecise, no matter how skilled the vocalist, there would be slight delay differentials, and importantly, phase differences. It's even in the original hardware manual, along with a few other tricks, all of which can be implemented using the Instant Flanger Mark II plugin, a faithful recreation of the original hardware with all the personality and added functionality. Download a 30-day demo from eventideaudio.com.